support the living expenses of a family of three on $2,780 per month, let alone be able to save enough to pay lawyer fees. This is particularly true in contentious or complex family disputes which require more hours of legal services, such as where the security of a woman or her children is at stake in the proceeding because the other party is abusive. However, um, another issue is even when women get legal aid, there's not enough hours available under the legal aid contract. Uh, we say that these caps on legal services are arbitrary and do not give lawyers enough time to resolve the primary legal issues in most family disputes. Legal aid contracts only authorize lawyers to spend 25 preparation hours on family law disputes in provincial court and 35 hours on family disputes in Supreme Court. These caps therefore apply to all the work a lawyer does outside of the courtroom, including meeting with the client, drafting court documents, doing legal research, communicating with the other party or the other party's lawyer, and negotiating settlement agreements. And we know from talking to family lawyers that um, they say this is not sufficient for most family law cases. Lawyers often run out of hours before they've even been able to stabilize a family dispute for the short term, let alone obtain long-term solutions for their clients. This means that clients often see little to no concrete gains in their case from the legal aid representation before it stops. In exceptional cases, LSS may authorize additional hours under the contract for the lawyer to resolve the outstanding issues in the case. However, under um, LSS's policy, these authorizations are subject to whether LSS has enough money left over in its budget to afford them. Essentially, it's subject to their funding and is very discretionary. In January 2017, LSS suspended the authorization of additional hours because of a lack of available budget, meaning that no matter how dire the circumstances, no matter how significant the consequences, LSS will not authorize additional time in any case. That suspension remains in place today, and we don't know when it's going to be lifted. Our next speaker, Nicole Bell, has experienced the harmful impacts of both Legal Aid's financial eligibility criteria and its cap on hours as she's fought to ensure her safety and her children's safety in the family law system. So I'll now turn things over to